Slovakia can start the process of talks on delivering MiG-29 fighter jets to Ukraine now once Kiev has officially asked for the planes, Prime Minister Eduard Heger said on February 10. Western countries that have provided Ukraine with arms have so far refused to send fighter jets or long-range weapons capable of striking deep inside Russia. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said February 8 he had heard from several European Union leaders at a summit that they were ready to provide Kiev with aircraft, hinting at what would be one of the biggest shifts yet in Western support for Ukraine. In case of any assistance to Ukraine, we claim a refund from the European Union. We will help Ukraine and at the same time we will get money, Heger said. The negotiations will be both internal and also with the European Commission. Defense Minister Yaroslav Nad said the country no longer needed the jets and it could either sell them somewhere else or give them to Ukraine where the planes could help. He said no decision had been taken yet. The 12 Russian-made jets have been grounded since last summer and they are in varying conditions. The Slovak government ordered F-16 fighter jets from the United States in 2018 to replace the aging MiG-29 planes. The first U.S.-made planes were expected to arrive last year and shipment was meant to be completed this year, but delivery is now expected to take place in 2024. Slovakia borders Ukraine in the east and has been an entry point for refugees fleeing the fighting during the near-year-long war. Bratislava has also backed Kiev with weapons and other aid while NATO was boosting its presence in Slovakia. Akákoľvek pomoc, ktorú poskytujeme na Ukrajine, uchádzame sa vždy o preplatenie z Európskeho mierového nástroja, Čiže dostávame za to peniaze. Inak by sme túto techniku museli vyradiť a nemali by sme za to nič. Takto pomôžeme Ukrajincom a zároveň za to dostaneme peniaze. Keď ich na tú Ukrajinu poskytneme, tak pravdepodobne dostaneme, o tom rokujeme, dostaneme za to nejakú náradu, či už finančnú, prostredníctvom Európskeho mierového nástroja. Už sme mimochodom dostali viac ako 82 miliónov eur na účet Slovenskej republiky z Európskeho mierového nástroja za pomoc, ktorú sme doteraz dali na Ukrajinu. My už tie prístroje, my už tie stroje jednoducho nedokážeme využiť. Tak ich dajme tam, kde môžu zachráňovať ľudské životy a môžeme za to dostať niečo naspäť.